Ми продовжуємо роботу українського кризового медіацентру та тема наступного. Uh, I'm glad to welcome you again, dear listeners and viewers, uh, in uh, our Ukrainian Crisis Media Center, and uh, we now have uh, uh, the round table on the spatial planning of territories development uh, in the amalgamated communities. Uh, we have uh, Uh, the uh, 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 the director on uh, the uh, scientific director of uh, the Institute of uh, Development of Civil Society in Ukraine, Mr. Tkachuk, uh, 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 Mr. Jana Kristop, the advisor on spatial planning of the regional development uh, uh, program you lead, and Lubisa Kosheluk, advisors on special, uh, spatial planning, uh, regional development, and Mr. Matthias uh, Magner, the team leader of the regional development uh, of you lead uh, program uh, in uh, Ukraine. With the, uh, good afternoon. With your permission, uh, Uh, I will start by saying that you lead uh, Europe program is probably uh, well known to many of you and uh, it's a bit large program uh, it's more a program rather than a project uh, it is co uh, 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 performed under the auspices of uh, uh, the European Union and uh, uh, Denmark uh, Germany Poland uh, uh, participate uh, in uh, the Uh, in this program. Uh, the program generally is aimed at supporting the decentralization reform in Ukraine. Uh, it incorporates also the development uh, at the regional and local uh, levels. And uh, so that I do not take too much uh, of uh, time uh, by describing uh, uh, the ULEAD program, because it's a, an extensive program with a large portfolio, I would like to uh, Uh, pay more attention uh, to uh, local and regional development. In this context, um, we uh, have uh, done uh, the work that we would like to present uh, to you and uh, discuss with you. For local and regional uh, development in any country, uh, and uh, in Ukraine uh, specifically, uh, there has been a number of uh, years uh, during which uh, fairly good, uh, uh, so to say, toolbox uh, has existed with different instruments uh, that include uh, financial instruments uh, of uh, the uh, uh, state fund for regional development and uh, the other uh, financial uh, documents uh, involving also the private uh, sector actors. Uh, there are the strategies uh, and the plans uh, 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 that Uh, we uh, transform uh, the plans into the project and it's a well-developed mechanism. Uh, uh, so this uh, uh, program has uh, been functioning uh, pretty well. Uh, what uh, is uh, lagging behind a little bit is that aspect of uh, 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 simply speaking, uh, different plans, strategies, uh, uh, mapping of these uh, things, uh, uh, their, so to say, geolocation, uh, their uh, tying up to specific territories. Uh, uh, as far as uh, the planning is concerned and uh, it being a part of uh, this uh, system, uh, we felt motivated, uh, and our partners uh, in the Ministry of uh, the Regional Development of Ukraine, Uh, and uh, so our partners uh, at uh, the regional and local uh, levels, uh, uh, they wanted to uh, put a task to us uh, to deal uh, closer with this uh, aspect, this spe specific aspect of uh, uh, this system, with planning and uh, development of strategies and so on. Uh, so. Simply speaking, uh, as uh, soon as these uh, plans, uh, uh, measures, uh, uh, as uh, soon as uh, they are transformed uh, into a uh, well done uh, uh, qualitative uh, uh, mapping level, 
uh, it uh, becomes uh, much clearer uh, where uh, the money uh, need to be invested, what are the prospects, and also the legal issues uh, uh, can uh, be straightened uh, uh, and streamlined uh, much more effectively so that the private businesses can also participate. The other aspects, like social aspects, uh, 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 they are also much uh, better balanced if uh, the uh, environmental protection aspects are uh, taken into account. Uh, this is also important for uh, business sector. And we have uh, the specialists today with us uh, who can uh, uh, in, better, in uh, more details uh, describe uh, this uh, practical instrument uh, this uh, handbook, we can say. So I would like to uh, dwell on uh, these uh, more uh, uh, general uh, description. And we think that this handbook uh, uh, that uh, uh, we have developed not only uh, through our own efforts, but together with our partners, Uh, they uh, specifically uh, uh, were looking at how uh, uh, the broader public uh, be uh, involved uh, in uh, this uh, project uh, uh, and how to uh, make them cooperate within the framework of uh, ULEAD program. Uh, this handbook uh, is uh, ready and uh, we presented it last week at the third forum of uh, local self-government. Uh, uh, we uh, consider that uh, local communities can get, in the form of this uh, document, a practical guidance uh, and uh, the answers to the questions of what needs to be done and where, uh, uh, given that they understand uh, that uh, this area uh, needs uh, some serious uh, attention, uh, some serious efforts, uh, if they want to have their territories better developed and quality of life there uh, at a higher level. So this is a handbook that uh, provides a good instrument for that. Now I will uh, give uh, the floor to uh, Mr. Anatoly. Uh, good afternoon, uh, dear friends. Uh, speaking about the resources, uh, or speaking about resources, we mostly uh, mean uh, financial resources, first of all. There are different uh, types of resources, but two of them are quite uh, specific. Uh, uh, that uh, is uh, time. One of them is uh, the time, and the other one is the space. This space in particular is a very uh, uh, important uh, resource because if you do not uh, use it correctly, then uh, the application and usage of the other resources uh, becomes uh, uh, futile. And uh, all the other resources like finance, like human uh, efforts, uh, they are all uh, applied uh, within certain time and in certain within certain space. So the strategy of development uh, that uh, is uh, now under uh, development in many territorial uh, communities uh, uh, is going to be uh, uh, probably uh, coupled with uh, uh, the strategy uh, strategies dim uh, time dimension. Uh, uh, only with this coupling uh, we uh, can uh, uh, have clear understanding of what uh, we uh, can do uh, and what we should do. If we get back to a recent history, uh, before 1990, uh, uh, everything was clear in Ukraine. Uh, for example, uh, if it's uh, the rural area, uh, then uh, there could be uh, uh, ten uh, tenths of hectare, uh, the maximal territory for a private uh, house, uh, and so on. But uh, this, uh, these norms, they put limitations uh, to the development of rural areas, and when the market uh, economy uh, uh, started to be introduced, all the limitations started to be removed. Uh, it brought about uh, the following. Uh, 
six and a half uh, thousand square kilometers uh, 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 were uh, uh, the territories that uh, on which uh, there were some kind of buildings, and uh, it's now uh, in excess of thirty thousand square kilometers. Uh, so, as you can see, it was a six-time or five-fold five uh, increase, uh, and still a lot of uh, local uh, uh, communities uh, are, feel that they are short of space, ne necessary space, uh, space needed for their uh, development. And so, uh, again, uh, if we add, uh, you know, different type of constructions, uh, uh, residential, industrial, to these 33,000 square kilometers, then uh, again, uh, some territorial communities uh, will be lacking uh, space for their development. So the uh, issue is that we need to develop as uh, uh, intelligently as possible this spatial uh, uh, development and uh, spatial planning. Uh, and uh, it's now being done uh, uh, under the, well, within the framework of a reform, the scope of which is to provide the best possible con living conditions for the persons living in a given territory. Uh, together with Ms. Tatiana, we started our work approximately three years ago in the uh, territorial, uh, amalgamated uh, territorial uh, uh, communities, so that uh, uh, the development of the necessary documents uh, uh, be synchronized so that uh, uh, we uh, can create, as one of the uh, uh, humorist authors wrote, the new Vos Vosuki. It's a symbolic uh, name of a, some uh, 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 dream uh, village or uh, dream township. Uh, uh, so uh, we need probably to avoid the situations when we construct different uh, facilities, different uh, uh, types of uh, buildings uh, that are not going to be needed in many, in many communities in their present day economic condition. So today for us, uh, uh, one of uh, uh, the uh, priorities uh, to make the Verkhovna Rada, the parliament uh, of Ukraine, to enact uh, the uh, bill on uh, the regulation of uh, uh, spatial uh, planning and uh, construction work, so that every territorial uh, community has a tool and regulation, uh, regulatory tool on how to plan and develop uh, their territories. Now, I would like to give the floor to uh, Ms. Uh, Tatiana. My colleagues were very logical uh, in uh, their uh, well-founded presentations. Uh, they have explained uh, why the territorial communities need uh, uh, specific documents, regulatory documents for their development. Uh, I would like now to uh, give a couple exam of examples to you so that you could uh, see it for uh, yourselves that uh, they are needed. So the professional uh, community uh, now expects uh, this 6403 uh, uh, bill uh, that uh, the is under review in uh, Verkhovna Rada. And uh, this uh, uh, bill, uh, for the first time, introduces uh, the notion of spati uh, spatial planning. Uh, this term was taken from our colleagues from Western Europe, and that uh, uh, means uh, the uh, documents uh, that can be used for uh, uh, construction uh, in uh, urban areas and uh, different other types of regulations for the development of different other territories. But uh, the inconsistencies uh, among the documents uh, that uh, have been enacted by different uh, other governmental agencies do not allow to have, uh, so to say, a uniform uh, uh, interpretation of a number of terms uh, in these documents and thus uh, their proper use. But if we get to uh, all the national legislation that is now in effect, I think that uh, uh, this urban uh, development uh, scope uh, that is uh, uh, in uh, our uh, uh, effective uh, laws, uh, the scope is uh, to create uh, good uh, living conditions uh, for everyone. Uh, 
uh, within the context of the decentralization uh, reform, I think uh, the scope uh, uh, primarily of uh, many efforts uh, under this reform is also uh, more or less uh, the same. Therefore, the spatial uh, planning, in our view, should be one of the uh, key instruments uh, in uh, uh, these uh, reforms. So, uh, uh, the sectoral uh, authorities uh, need uh, to be uh, uh, synchronized, and uh, we have uh, developed uh, a number of uh, drafts of uh, regulatory documents uh, uh, that could be used by territorial communities. If we look at the list of uh, the functions that we uh, uh, have uh, drawn up for them, uh, we could see uh, also the actions that uh, they uh, can uh, do in order to uh, improve uh, their territorial development. Uh, these uh, bodies uh, uh, will have the uh, authority uh, to uh, make uh, monitoring of uh, urban uh, uh, construction uh, works and uh, a number of other aspects. Uh, uh, and uh, they uh, will play an important role in the social economic uh, development. Only then uh, can uh, we implement uh, the tasks uh, that uh, and goals that mentioned were mentioned by Mr. Anatoly. Also, uh, an important uh, another important uh, uh, issue is the completion of the constructions that uh, were started uh, a long time ago but uh, remain unfinished so that all the specialists uh, in any given territory could understand uh, what is possible and what is needed uh, in terms of construction in uh, this or the other uh, uh, territory. Together with the ULEAD program, uh, we made a survey of all the oblasts of Ukraine, uh, uh, and uh, we uh, wanted uh, this as a preparatory work for the establishment of new uh, bodies that would coordinate the spatial planning work. Uh, not a single uh, uh, oblast has uh, even 50% of uh, 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 the specialists that are needed uh, to cope with this work effectively. As you can see from this graph, uh, uh, not more than 30% uh, that are involved in uh, different authorities uh, have any professional training in this special area uh, 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 sphere. Uh, our Polish colleagues uh, told us uh, that uh, the, uh, in Poland, in this uh, uh, rating of uh, uh, different professions, uh, the architects and the spatial planners uh, were among the professions that, were, uh, that enjoyed uh, the highest esteem, uh, highest level of esteem uh, and appreciation on the part of the citizenry of the country, because these people are directly involved in providing comfort uh, and uh, uh, you know, wellness in our day-to-day -day life. Therefore, uh, we prepared uh, this handbook uh, that uh, would help uh, uh, in spatial planning and in executing all the functions related to it. This handbook was created uh, jointly by Ukrainian, Polish and uh, Croatian uh, experts. And here we have uh, uh, Ms. Uh, Kosteluk, who is uh, who uh, has made her contribution into uh, uh, drawing up of this uh, handbook, and uh, with her experience and the other uh, practices and experiences uh, that uh, we uh, got from the other countries, I think we would be able uh, to uh, uh, improve uh, uh, this work of spatial planning in Ukraine. So. The first uh, three authorities or functions of the local communities uh, can uh, be uh, uh, implemented uh, with the help of uh, the first uh, three uh, uh, lines that you can uh, see here in this uh, list of the functions. Getting back to the concept of uh, the uh, reform of, of uh, uh, local uh, self-government. The uh, goal was, uh, before the end of 2017, uh, to provide all uh, territorial uh, communities with uh, the general plans of their territorial development. Uh, as far as these, as these uh, uh, general plans are concerned, as uh, these documents have been uh, used in Ukraine for the last at least 90 years, uh, it's uh, understandable to 
practically all the experts and specialists uh, involved in this uh, area. So it's a, basically a strategy of the development of any uh, uh, given uh, uh, settlement or township or village. And uh, as uh, these uh, uh, the needs uh, for all of uh, the uh, development facilities in uh, these territories are uh, determined by these plans. But if we speak about uh, the uh, development of the territories that are uh, behind or beyond the boundaries of the townships uh, and uh, villages and so on, uh, we have uh, created uh, these images like uh, these eggs, they represent uh, uh, the uh, villages or the uh, townships, and then uh, you can see uh, the pan uh, in which uh, they are fried, uh, and uh, sometimes the limits between them and the adjacent territories uh, are inexistent. And uh, the result uh, of that is are these uh, eggs uh, uh, fried uh, in uh, this uh, pan. So that's how we suggest to develop uh, the approach that we suggest for the development of these uh, territories, of uh, territorial communities in Ukraine. And uh, albeit we do not have yet in our legislation uh, uh, the uh, provisions for uh, these uh, planning works uh, in spatial uh, planning. We studied uh, the documents in Croatia, in Germany, in some other countries, and uh, we uh, draw the uh, conclusion uh, that uh, there, uh, uh, this is uh, considered an important uh, part uh, of uh, their real handbook in their day-to-day -day functioning and work uh, aimed at the development of uh, different territories. And that is why, uh, if I have enough time, I would like to demonstrate a number of specific examples how these documents are important and why they are important for specific uh, communities. Uh, for example, there is a map uh, where the needs of uh, development needs of any uh, territorial community uh, can be uh, represented, and uh, uh, we uh, took the Rukshinsky. Uh, the amalgamated uh, community in Chernivtsi uh, region, and uh, it's uh, them, uh, the map of their uh, territory, and uh, it clearly gave them better understanding of the resources that they that are needed: uh, territorial resources, land resources, uh, uh, human resources, funding, and. Uh, after all of that was analyzed uh, the, and put into the map, uh, the members of the uh, community only after that learned uh, how many uh, uh, yards uh, and uh, privately owned or in publicly owned squares uh, and uh, uh, other, uh, you know, green areas uh, in um, uh, their ownership, in the ownership of their uh, communities. The other important aspect is uh, that the description of uh, uh, different types of uh, land uh, uh, lots uh, pro are provided with uh, this uh, map. For example, uh, which territories are flooded, which uh, are uh, better uh, in terms of uh, land, which are less uh, adapted for uh, construction. And so uh, anybody who can s uh, take a look, uh, can, who can look at this map, can understand what uh, kind of uh, 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 plot of land uh, his uh, he or his business are offered by the local authorities, for example. So the future uh, 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 land user can have better understanding of the quality of the land uh, that he uh, can uh, get uh, into possession of. Uh, also, the uh, relationship uh, that uh, was mentioned by Mr. Antoli uh, between uh, uh, these documents uh, and the real needs, uh, they are not uh, the fantasy, but uh, it is related uh, closely to the strategy of uh, territorial development of uh, any uh, uh, amalgamated community. So, uh, if we look at this slide, we can see that uh, in the territory of that uh, community, uh, there are good conditions uh, for uh, the location uh, there of uh, the alternative energy uh, facilities, uh, like, for example, the wind generators and uh, so on. So the people could better understand uh, where uh, and uh, what uh, types of uh, uh, lands uh, they need for their businesses.
this is uh, this line that represents this ba balanced development of uh, the territory of uh, any uh, territorial uh, community. We dis decided after uh, long discussions to represent it in the form of a triangle uh, where you have uh, the question of what is planned by a community. Then uh, uh, another question is uh, where to do uh, to implement these plans and uh, when. And it is also accompanied by uh, the uh, documents that need to be uh, developed, uh, funding that needs to be found, and the strategy that needs uh, to be developed. Again, if we get back to uh, the plan uh, with a specific design, uh, uh, where uh, you have uh, the prospective uh, 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 industrial objects, uh, uh, they can be uh, located uh, there or placed there. If a hotel, or for any other use, be it a hotel, a motel, uh, so uh, any potential uh, uh, developer can uh, get better understanding of uh, what type of land he or she uh, needs uh, so that uh, they do not encroach upon uh, the uh, uh, collectively owned lands uh, that are good for or better adapted for uh, agriculture. Uh, Volochiska uh, uh, community. Uh, their aim was uh, uh, to uh, build up uh, their in, uh, their tourist industry uh, uh, facilities. Uh, so these uh, the tourist uh, routes are shown here. The places uh, where the uh, different amenities and hotels and so on could be built for these uh, tourists, so that uh, local budgets can uh, get better revenues and higher revenues. I would also like to dwell uh, on uh, the issue of the placement uh, and development of uh, the healthcare uh, uh, institutions. Uh, we know that it's a huge problem now in the rural area and uh, uh, there are only uh, medical uh, specialists uh, who are basically uh, mostly involved uh, in resolving this problem, but uh, the urban planning and rural planning and other territorial planning uh, documents and the involvement of the other sp of the specialists in these areas, uh, uh, they can uh, involve uh, better and more efficient uh, solution uh, to uh, uh, this problem where, for example, uh, uh, the uh, primary care centers uh, uh, or points at least uh, could be placed where hospitals, what types of hospitals, clinics and what types of uh, clinics, and uh, the uh, road uh, network, uh, which roads are good, which needs uh, repairment and so on. And the second reform that uh, goes uh, on uh, with great pain now, especially in the rural area of uh, Europe. Ukraine is the reform of educational facilities uh, in Ukraine for a community to uh, develop uh, successfully and uh, uh, the decisions to shut down uh, the schools uh, 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 be avoided. The analysis uh, of uh, the number of uh, children of school age uh, is uh, done, and it is also uh, synchronized uh, with uh, the uh, mapping and uh, planning uh, documents. For example, we can see that for Volochiske uh, village, uh, uh, there are uh, two objects that are supposed to be shut down. It's a uh, kindergarten and a school uh, because of the sufficient number of uh, children of those ages. Uh, and these, for example, the senior age uh, children uh, could be transported uh, to uh, uh, the neighboring uh, villages or uh, townships uh, where there are uh, schools with larger number of children. But it, uh, again, it uh, would require the construction of a new road. One more provision to which uh, I would like to draw your attention is uh, the requirement uh, of uh, the law to, uh, play, uh, to, put, to publish all this information uh, in the Internet. It's positive, uh, and uh, the first aspect, positive aspect here is uh, that uh, the 
uh, land register uh, and all this information when published uh, in the internet, they uh, themselves become a good uh, uh, management instrument for territorial development. For example, you can see the schools here with the description of each of them. And uh, so it uh, gives you an opportunity to see, for example, uh, the schools where there are two shifts for the children uh, and uh, 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 the number of children, and uh, we know that the state does not uh, subsidize uh, the functioning of public schools uh, uh, where uh, uh, there are uh, less than 25 school children. So it gives us an opportunity to understand what needs to be done uh, for the reform of uh, the network of schools and other educational establishments. It's also very interesting and useful for uh, the investors, uh, a, pot a potential investor wherever he uh, or she resides, can, uh, looking at that map, uh, get a clear understanding of what kind of territory uh, he is going to have his business uh, in, and uh, so he can develop his business plan, uh, taking into account uh, all these aspects, uh, and uh, finally, whether he needs uh, this uh, territory of this or that community for his uh, uh, business. Again, uh, if this, uh, these documents are published in the Internet, uh, uh, they uh, become open for uh, environmental monitoring by uh, environmental uh, protection NGOs. Because in many instances, uh, there could be, for example, some industrial facilities with uh, unhealthy emissions. And, uh, for example, uh, this uh, 300 meters uh, uh, zone that is mandatory safety zone around, around uh, uh, the uh, industrial facilities with hazardous emissions, uh, uh, people can see uh, uh, where are these uh, objects and these uh, zones and what needs to be done if these territories uh, uh, are to be developed. For example, uh, the uh, centrali centralized uh, uh, waterway uh, is uh, uh, mapped here. Uh, and uh, looking at this uh, map, uh, one could uh, clearly cost and quickly cost uh, <laughs> the budget for the construction of uh, this aqueduct or waterway. <laughs> So there was a slide uh, there, and uh, Ms. Koshaluk is now uh, going to say a few words about uh, mediation. And uh, mediation can be Mediation can be done at any phase of the uh, development of the documents on uh, spatial planning, and uh, we consider it thus uh, a very useful uh, tool. Uh, there is... Uh, so one can resolve the issue through the court, but uh, they, and they use lawyers and try to solve this, resolve this conflict. And the result of this process uh, is the situation win-lose because one side wins over the other. And mediation is a part of legal system of the country. It provides opportunity to communicate and parties can speak, can communicate with each other. And uh, they may speak about procedures, how to resolve this conflict. So this is win-win situation, everyone wins. Mediation provides opportunity to take joint decisions through consensus. And for me, this is a democratic instrument. Documentation of special planning is really important and strategic. That's why the process of developing of documentation should be transparent. It should be open, and uh, the public, the community, should be involved in the development of documentation from the very start. If they are involved, then the level of the conflict will be lower, 
and uh, there are different levels of participation for the community. There is a minimum level when local government informs the residents and tells, for example, that they elaborated the document. Uh, next level when the local government asks the community about the problems, about the ideas and their views of the future. Higher level is when community and local government take decision together and even higher level is when they act together and the highest level is when community has full responsibility uh, to um, and uh, fully participate in special planning. As I've said, community residents should be involved from the very start. And when they're involved from the very start, they will feel active, themselves active participants of the process. And. Uh, there are more opportunities uh, for success if they participate. There's joint interest of the power and uh, the public, and um, uh, their efforts can be at the maximum level. So such documents of special planning, uh, they are more successful, of higher quality, and more correspond to the requirements of the public. We now have some time for questions and answers. Uh, who wants uh, to, those who want to ask questions, please uh, stand up and uh, introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Alexandra Dudka, and I'm a coordinator of uh, the network of uh, uh, specialists uh, on uh, uh, commercial uh, territorial uh, development. Uh, how can one get this handbook? Thank you for your uh, question. We have uh, uh, already a number of copies printed. And uh, they are in our office uh, uh, of uh, what that we call the House of Decentralization. You can order uh, it uh, turning to us. Uh, uh, directly, uh, I'm not going to hand out my business name cards uh, now, but uh, 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 you can order it uh, in the printed form and uh, also the PDF uh, format uh, file uh, uh, can uh, be downloaded uh, free of charge uh, from the Internet. Uh, I'm not quoting the electronic address, but... Uh, because I don't have it. Oh, yeah, I do have it. It is... Uh, it, it, idpa.org.ua. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not sure that uh, reading it out loud uh, would help. Uh, we, we should certainly have it uh, in one of the slides. But you can get it from us uh, any time after this uh, uh, meeting. And um, any more questions? When we start uh, 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 starting something, uh, uh, we know that the a, a Google, uh, the the. Uh, 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 photographs uh, f taken from the space that are uh, uh, placed uh, on uh, the Google uh, uh, site uh, can be used and uh, you can see uh, every part of, uh, I can for example see my village uh, there uh, uh, like Sukhalucha and uh, uh, for example uh, uh, there are the lands uh, uh, near my village, they are already all uh, uh, appropriated by different owners. But there are certain uh, lands that are still uh, are free, not owned uh, privately. And uh, one of the advantages of uh, this uh, uh, map uh, mapping instrument uh, that uh, we uh, 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 are in favor of so much is that uh, when uh, uh, the 
ownership rights uh, are shown in these maps, uh, it's uh, uh, always, uh, it makes life uh, more difficult for the lobbies who uh, are trying to uh, get, uh, who are lobbying for uh, appropriation of uh, uh, land in different uh, areas uh, of Ukraine, even against the will uh, of uh, territorial uh, communities. And I also wanted to add uh, one uh, practical uh, aspect. Uh, the handbook that you asked about, uh, uh, in each uh, oblast, in all uh, the 24 oblasts of Ukraine, uh, there is a resource center for uh, the uh, local uh, self-government development. And we hope that the communities uh, in uh, uh, these uh, uh, regions are aware of the existence of such uh, a center and through that uh, center it would uh, be uh, able uh, to uh, get both uh, or either a printed copy or a uh, PDF uh, 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 format uh, electronic uh, document of uh, this sort of this handbook. Thank you.